we're here. Back in the back of this hidden oasis is Catnip Mountain. Now you remember a couple months ago we made a video of planting all those seeds from the floor sweepings of processing catnip. And catnip is like the slowest growing weed you've ever seen. Not even much happens with it the first year, so I'll show you what happened. Well, of course, they're growing, and we even transplanted some of last year's plants. So, for example, that's a last year's catnip plant. There's another one. And a few more in a nest here and there. They're doing quite well. And luckily, even though we got a brutal windstorm after I planted the catnip and I thought all my seeds blew away, they grew. Well, a bunch of them did. There's probably got five or 10,000 plants growing on here now. They're two months old, and I'll show you what two-month-old catnip plants look like because they grow so slow. They're all over the place, and they're not those leafy things you see. They haven't got that big yet. There's some itty-bitty little nippers. There's some more. They're all over the place. Um, well, one way to identify them, oh, there's a bigger one. They always have at least four leaves, and they always have a square stem, and the stem most of the time is red. So there's thousands of them, like that's one, that's one, that's one. And if you're not sure, you just sort of pinch the leaf and smell it, and it has that strong minty smell, then you know you got the chronic. Well, the next good news is, this is our redneck garden. My woman and I not only just planted catnip, we planted three different kinds of squash, zucchini, and about 150 pumpkin plants. So they're growing here too. We planted those about two weeks ago. Hope the deers and bunnies don't get them. Let me see if I can find some for you. They're just coming out of the ground right now. Oh, there's one. Can't remember if that's a pumpkin or a squash. But there is lots of them all over the place. I may have to weed this thing someday. Ooh, now that's a healthy catnip plant. And that's just a freshly planted one too from the seeds. And there's another really big one that's a 2011 model. It's probably one of the bigger ones. And another pumpkin or squash. Another catnip plant I planted from last year's stash. And I still got some well-aged catnip that I haven't sold from the year before too. Oh. It's another pumpkin. So most people would think a rock pile at the back of a farm isn't worth anything. But for a guy like me, it's going to be one hell of a garden. Covered in yellow zucchini, green and white squash, orange pumpkins, and lots of that chronic bud. <laughs> Lots more to come, folks. I'll come back now. You hear? And catnip's favorite place to grow of any place is clay soil mixed with rocks. I found that out from years of picking. So what's your name? John. Her name? Oh. Lindsay. Lindsay. Hang on, man. That, that, don't want to abuse any alcohol out here. No. No, uh, Okay, have fun. See your well stock for a long journey. Enjoy. Dog on board too. Yeah.